Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. This is another episode of Friday Sales. First, I want to thank Jan for creating this wonderful hashtag Friday Sews, which is an opportunity for us to come together every Friday so we can share what we're making. We can check what everybody else is making and also share the plans that we have for the weekend and the following week and share a little bit about life, what's going on in our end of the world. So thank you, Jan, for creating this wonderful hashtag Friday Sews. Today, I want to show you a pajama set that I made a couple of months back. I am still working on the dress that uh, my daughter asked me to make for her for her birthday. The dress is not ready yet, so I have nothing to show you on that front. So I decided to show you something else. If that's something that you want to see, stick around. So the pajama set that I made, as you can see, it is a sleeve set. It is uh butterick 6296 which is this one right here hope you can see it i will uh, put better pictures for you guys to see i'm gonna grab my glasses so i can read it better okay so um this is a lisette sewer style um pajama set and um I bought the 14 through 22 uh, package for the um, pattern. And this pattern comes in sizes from six to 22. And you can use cotton blends, broadcloth, satins, seersucker, cotton knits, and jersey. So I chose to do it out of a quilting cotton. As you can see, it is a pretty quilting cotton. It has a bunch of uh, sewing notions. So I bought this at Joann's. So when I saw this, I'm like, this is so, it was so cute. So I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So at one point I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do a, a pajama set. So I got this and uh, did the pajama set. And, uh, but I had, I made a big mistake on this one. I don't know if you guys can see it in the back. I hope, I don't know if you can right there. I kind of circled right here. I kind of circled the size 18 for the um, top. And then I circled again, because this is the uh, fabric requirements for the um, pajama. I did view A for the top and C for the bottom, which is the uh, shorts. But my mistake was, I'll take off my glasses so I can tell you. When I trace, cause I traced the pattern. I even, this one, I stuffed everything in here. You see, I have the pattern and I have the paper here in the back. So when I trace the pattern, I trace the top on a size 18. And then without thinking about it, I also trace the bottom as a size 18. So I trace the bottom size 18. I took the fabric, I cut everything, cut everything, cut the sleeves, cut the top, cut, cut the bottom, everything, 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 cut everything in a size 18. I started sewing everything. And then I tried on the top first. I made the top, the top was fine. Came out pretty good. I started making the bottom. And then at one point I'm like, okay, let me try it on to see before I put the elastic because this has an elastic waist. And then as I was pulling it on, it wouldn't go past my hips. And then I was like, well, what happened? I, this doesn't fit. What happened with, the, with this cut? And then it dawned on me. I cut the wrong size. I cut a size 18 instead of cutting a size 22, which is for my hips. Duh. Yeah. So I was almost out of fabric. So what I had to do, well, this this is the uh, the shorts here. Hope you can see it all. It came out really cute. I put the um, pockets in. I did the bottom as the pattern had everything. You see everything here. The back has a yoke. 
So when this thing did not fit me, I kind of panicked because I didn't have any more fabric. So I decided to do was I put a strip of fabric right here on the side so I can open up the hips a little bit here. So it would fit me. I hope you can see that right there, right there. I put the, um, a strip right there. So I still had a little, a little bit of fabric to cut this on both sides. And then in the back, I did not have enough to cut the uh, yoke, um, but the top here, you know, for the uh, elastic, I kind of went down a little bit. And uh, so I kind of, I made a little, well, again, I'm gonna just say Frankenstein shorts. So I had to put a, a small piece up here to lengthen this portion right here because it was way too low on my back. So it would fit me properly. So yeah, I made a mistake on this one. But I find I kind of figured out how to um, salvage this piece because I did not want to let this go because it was such such cute little uh, fabric and uh, I kind of like I almost cried when I figured this out I was like I can't believe I did this I cannot, I cannot believe I did this but yeah so everybody out there please pay attention when you're tracing your pattern and when you're cutting your fabric don't make the same mistake that I did pay attention cut the right size. Don't go like I did and I had to do little Frankenstein uh, uh, shorts here for my pajamas. But it came out pretty cute. The um, top here, I hope you can see it. The collar is rounded. The pattern shows uh, piping, like a little white piping here up top, but I did not have any piping can see that and so I decided not to do anything any of that that was a, a bit too much so I just did the top here the uh, I guess it's called a camp shirt collar I think came out pretty cute the button right here I decided to put these um, they're called pop I think in UK they call it poppers here I, I don't remember the name of these little things they're the little snap it's little snap because usually you guys know that I'm I'm having trouble with the um, my machine making buttonholes, and when I made this, my daughter had not purchased her new machine, so I did not I did not have an extra machine to do the buttonholes as I do now. So I decided to put these little um, snap-ons. It's okay. It's just that I don't even undo them when I want to wear it. I just kind of put it on top because this is fairly wide it goes down um, my head no problems so it is okay and also I put the uh, pockets I hope you can see the little pockets that I put on I did that because I just I mean the pattern calls for the pockets this one right here I hope you can see it right there it calls for the uh, little pockets, so I decided to put the little pockets. If I knew that I needed some fabric for the shorts, maybe I would not have done the pockets. Maybe I had a little bit more uh, um, extra fabric, but what can I say? Uh, now, what's going on with life? Not much has changed here in the sewing room. That's pretty much the only thing that's been going on around here. We have not purchased any of the plywood to start making the um, the Murphy bed and uh, yeah so that has not happened it is way too hot outside every time we talk about going out to buying something go to the uh, big box store to buy the plywood it, it does not happen so I think we're gonna just wait a little bit hopefully this heat will subside a little bit I don't know we're in the middle of the summer so cross fingers Maybe we can do something. The only thing I've been doing, I did a couple of uh, um, cable management in the back. I bought a light for my, uh, so I can see at night when I'm sewing, because sometimes I can't see, there's not a lot of lighting in this room. 
and I also bought a couple of shelves that I'm going to put up in that wall but that's pretty much it I bought some other extra little lights and I'm gonna put it back there but my husband did not do it yet for me so I have to wait for him to help me out on some of these things um, yeah so that's not much going on here but I've been in here uh, sewing and uh, it's been working well I have nice space in here um, yeah but the bed not happening yet don't have anybody coming over so that's okay so that's what's going on with life right now a little update on the dress it's almost done I just have this little bit done to uh, finish with the dress that I'm making for my daughter for her birthday hopefully my next video I can show you the dress it's coming out really really good and uh, yeah so it's been taking me a while to do that dress it's it's coming along it was not an easy one uh, but I'll tell you about it when I film that video. I'll talk about the, um, the dress. I want to thank you all for sticking with me until the end of this video. This was a short one because I did not have a lot to talk about. If you can please hit that like button below, the like button below. And also if you can please subscribe, it would help me out a lot. I wanted to thank everybody that has subscribed already. And I also wanted to thank everybody that has been commenting on my channel. It is very nice to chat with you guys, respond, and everybody's so nice. Everybody has such kind, kind comments. Thank you, thank you very much to everybody. It helps me out in my little baby channel. I started not long ago. So I hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead. See you next time. Bye. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do